Hi, I'm Bob, a homeowner armed with a 12 inch battery powered saw. Let's look at how I took down this 115 foot tall Monterey pine that was leaning at one of my structures. I live in PG&E country and they came out and decided a bunch of these trees had to come out and uh, they hired a crew. And this is one of them that the crew took out. Uh, I was really glad I didn't have to take this, this particular tree out. It has super heavy lean on it uh, over towards the the neighbor's house uh, that neighbor's house right there and uh, you can see how much holding wood was left and you can see the face cut is really shallow and uh, you know really really tall uh, so that it would stay on the so the stem would stay on the stump for as long as possible. They had a rope in it and they were trying to pull it away from the neighbor's house. Um, but as soon as the tension got used up out of the rope, the tree asserted itself and swung back and missed their fence by about an inch. So this, this thing goes all the way up and disappears somewhere up in there. And uh, they were they were lucky. Um, it's hard. It's hard to get these things to go where you want them to. You can see. I mean, look at the way that these fibers are are ripped over to the side. You know, it's just there was so much uh, eagerness for that tree to fall to fall into the neighbor's house, and they prevented it. But watching crews with ropes and trucks fail to get the trees falling the direction that they needed to fall made me wonder if there wasn't another way. An early assignment in the physics for engineers class is working out the amount of force on a line with a weight in the center. And what's amazing is that this little weight right here, you know, even at like 10 pounds or whatever, can yield a pulling force that's thousands of pounds, depending on how straight that line is. If this line were perfectly straight, it's literally an infinite amount of force. So that's why there's always, <laughs> why the lines always have a, a sag on them. So I thought, can that be used to help pull a tree over? So you've got, you know, a tree with a lean on it. And if I can get a line up in that tree and hang a weight on that line, what happens is as the tree starts to come over, this weight falls down and it continues to pull tension on the tree until I get the tree all the way over to where gravity can take over. And at that point, hopefully that happens before my weight contacts the ground. So here's the log that I used as a weight to help pull the tree over. I'm not asking anybody to duplicate this. I'm just showing what I did and uh, it might already have a name. Uh, if it does, I was unable to find it. To give you an idea of how strong this pine is, here's a typical hinge. Uh, it's, you know, three fingers wide. Uh, and you can see the back cut is not, you know, an inch above the face cut. Um, and this was a tree that was pretty straight up and down uh, and uh, I don't recall but I think they did wedge it a little bit so I thought I'd show you this tree that I'm taking out um, the reason I'm taking out it out is rodents have uh, undermined its root ball um, pretty severely uh, and uh, just like they did this one <laughs> which and also fungus. It's got the butt rot fungus. Uh, this one happened to fall down into the woods, um, which was 
marvelous. This one, same problems, fell sideways to the house, but this one is going to uh, fall into my shop. So here's, let's go, let's, let's have a look at this guy. He goes this way, uppity, 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 up, and then he curves around that way. <laughs> so it's a, it's a very nice banana tree. Uh, and that's the, that's where I'm going to try to drop it into is right over there. So what I am going to try is putting a weight in the middle of the rope. I've got a snatch block over here. I've got my come along down there. This is the tree here. All the weight is on this side of it and it's got a giant banana shape. Uh, and uh, <laughs> right now it aims at the corner of our shop. So even with just putting tension on it, uh, I know I can get it to clear the shop. I'm trying to get it to also clear the raised beds and uh, try, to, try to clear as much of this oak tree as possible. Uh, so I'm gonna see what happens with a active guidance on, on the line. It looks like my knot has cinched up nice and tight. The white rope is a uh, release line so I can get the rope back out if I, uh, if I need to. But then the blue line, which is here, that's the one that I'm pulling tension on. So it feels kind of sketchy having that thing hanging there eight feet off the ground, but I'm not sure if it actually is. I'm gonna find out from a safe distance. That thing was leaning so hard, I really didn't want to cut all the way through it. Wow. It, uh, I dropped it right between the oak trees, just like I wanted to. Oh my golly. Wow. You missed that one and this one. Yeah. No one got hurt. No one got hurt. <laughs> wow. All right, well, that is a cleanup project for sure. Wow. Yeah, it did open up a big exploded. space. It just exploded. Ugh, man, what a banana. Oof. Well, the uh, idea did, did the thing. Yeah. It just kept pulling the tree exactly the direction I wanted it to. All right, here's the tree I just took down. It's 115 feet tall, two feet around where I cut it. I estimate it to be at least six tons. This is the face cut. That's a tiny, tiny face cut. And then look at the size of this hinge. It's, uh, you know, as broad as my hand at the compression side and as long as my hand on the uh, tension side. And look at that thing. I mean, <laughs> this was really holding the tree for a very long time. It's partly why in the video of it falling you can see it goes really slowly at first because this tree wants to fall the direction that that hinge 
is pointing. You know, that's that's where it wanted to fall. And uh, my face cut actually aimed that way. And the tree fell that way. And that's the way it was leaning. Well, that was pretty amazing. It did exactly what I hoped it would. Um, the uh, weight in the middle of the line just pulled this guy right over. Shop's still standing. The canopy is here. We are here. The stump is all the way back there. Uh, Ooh.